My name is Igor Stanik, Senior Product PR Manager for NVIDIA for EMEA region and uh, my partial focus is the Tegra and I'm here basically to show you our next gen uh, project logon uh, with the mobile Kepler GPU. So uh, this is the basically demo we were showing on the GTC this year. Uh, it's called Faceworks and it's showing this beautifully rendered uh, face with lots of details and uh, basically here you can you can show uh, or you can see the, the the graphics which is on the same level of details as we know from the PCs. It's impressive to see that we are running from mobile class hardware because before we were using really Titan, which is our fastest GPU. Now we have like uh, the Project Logan with power envelope between two to three watts. So uh, the face itself uh, it's rendered with OpenGL 4.3. And as well, we have a, a tessellation here, and uh, especially I, li I like this uh, subsurface scattering effects, which looks very realistic, and it's really amazing uh, uh, for the mobile mobile hardware. So imagine the quality uh, or the games you can get the basically in um, maybe year time frame. We said that the first. Uh, the Logan based uh, products uh, arrive in the first uh, half of next year. So it's it's pretty impressive. So I can change the lighting, we can see the, the details of the face. So again, let's switch back for the subsurface cutting so it's best really nicely visible on, uh, on his air. So it's pretty impressive. Okay, this is my second demo. It's called the uh, island, and we basically using the island. I using the island to show the capability of mobile Kepler to use the uh, tessellation. So let me stop the movement, and we can switch on the wireframe model. So you see the amount of polygons we are rendering here, and everything is very very smooth, especially because we're using a tessellation. And now when I disable the tessellation, the amount of uh, the polygons and triangles generally we need to render, it's much, much, much higher. So of course the frame will get the big uh, performance hit between two to 300 percent and everything is dropping around 11 frames per second, which is definitely not smooth. But if I turn on the tessellation, you see that we are dropping slightly amount of uh, polygons we need to render, but the frame rate is increasing back to the 30 frames per second, which is much, much smoother. So it's very impressive that you can use a tessellation uh, on a mobile Kepler and the Project Logan uh, on the same way you know it from Epic PCs. And then, of course, you can get uh, much more, uh, much more intensive games. Imagine that in the future you can basically play games like Assassin's Creed easily on uh, the mobile class hardware or your mobile phone or the tablet, so it's pretty impressive.